This video is a question for Pastor Manny Arteaga. For those that don't know, he is listed as the lead pastor of the Kaleo Church near Los Angeles, California. Recently, I listened to several of his messages where he was talking about the value and importance of Hispanic or Latin American people and culture. He said, I've been part of the Brown Church my entire life, that the Brown Church is willing to stand up against oppression. He said that the narratives that defend or justify dehumanization need to be changed. Well, that's great. Praise the Lord. I completely agree. However, this presents a serious problem because Pastor Manny is a pastor for the Seventh-day Adventist Church in Southern California. And for those who don't know, Dr. Edward Allred is the most notorious abortionist who owned the largest chain of abortion clinics in California and who boasted of killing over 250,000 children. He became famous for openly targeting minority children for violence, specifically blacks and Hispanics. Notice what he told the newspaper. Population control is too important to be stopped by pro-life types. Take the influx of Hispanic immigrants. Their lack of respect for democracy and social order is frightening. I hope I can do something to stem that tide. I'd set up a what? I'd set up a clinic in Mexico for free if I could. Maybe one in Calexico would help. The survival of our society could be at stake. Wow. Wow, this man publicly boasted of violently killing more children than anyone else, and he specifically targeted Hispanic children and wanted to do everything that he could to kill as many of them as possible. An article, Too Many Brown People, California abortionists target Latinos, reported that Allred would advertise discounts in Spanish, but not in English-speaking media. Shockingly, of all places, Allred was honored at the Adventist Church's GC in session for giving so much blood money to Adventist institutions, specifically in Southern California. Several years ago, Christians from other denominations were horrified to see Adventist institutions like La Sierra named part of their university after Allred. They literally put up plaques on the wall saying that Allred will forever, read it for yourself, will forever be an example to our students. A man who targeted little Hispanic boys and girls for violence, a man who made millions by violently attacking attacking children safe in their mother's womb is La Sierra's example forever. Pastor Manny, if Hispanics are so important and so valuable, then why in the world are there no Hispanics in our church protesting this? Allred's business and career of butchering children is listed right here as the inspiration. How is this inspiring? And Loma Linda University openly honors Allred as their distinguished ambassador for the healing ministry of Jesus Christ. Pastor Manny, there is no other denomination in the entire world who is so insane as to honor a man who boasts of killing children. This is something specific to Adventists in California. And to make it worse, Allred boasted in the newspaper here of killing over 100 children every seventh day Sabbath. And since you believe that it is so important to stand up and speak out against oppression and dehumanization, when will you condemn this? You publicly criticize slave ships named after Jesus. So when institutions in your very own conference honor a man who murdered so many little Hispanic boys and girls and did it in the name of Jesus, where is your protest? Now, as a white man, if there were a Hispanic doctor who boasted of trying to kill as many white children as possible, and if he were honored by any institutions in my own church, I really don't know if I would be able to control myself. I think I would lose it. I would be absolutely furious. Now, I'm already mad as hell right now, and I'm not even Hispanic. Pastor Manny, where are the Hispanic voices? You yourself shared a post right here. God was on the throne during slavery and the Holocaust, but God being on the throne, read it with me, does not permit Christians to rest smugly in their privileged peace in the midst of injustice. Unborn children are completely defenseless. They have absolutely no voice except for those who will speak for them. And since you talk so much about the dangers and wrongs of dehumanization, since you want to remind everyone not to rest smugly, then how in the world can his 
Hispanic Adventists remain silent while this abomination is honored so openly. Susana Martinez is the first female Hispanic governor. When Edward Allred donated money to her campaign, she sent it back because of his racist remarks. How in the world can a leader in the Hispanic community reject Allred's money, but Adventists not only accept and keep his money, but openly celebrate him as an example, inspiration, and ambassador? This is disgusting and it is evil. She has demonstrated more backbone than Dan Jackson or Ted Wilson ever has. Furthermore, in one of your videos, you were preaching about Adventist pioneers because they spoke out so strongly against slavery. But these same pioneers also also spoke out and condemned abortion as child murder, as infanticide, as an appalling and enormous evil. And they openly supported anti-abortion legislation. And they publicly condemned other denominations who supported abortion. Pastor Manny, did you know about that history? Slavery was political. And it was so political, it divided an entire nation and led to a horrible, brutal civil war. But Adventists rightly understood that it was first a moral, biblical issue issue of justice regardless of politics and they applied the exact same reasoning to the killing of little children in their mother's womb. Pastor Manny, you are obviously a very gifted, very talented individual with abilities to speak and communicate. You're very educated. It says here that you are a graduate of La Sierra, the very same school that is famous for honoring this butcher. What are you going to do about this? Are you going to say anything? The typical response of most church leaders is to give some lame, wimpy, pathetic, gutless excuse why they should remain silent. But Pastor Manny, you don't strike me as that kind of person. You come across as a strong, sincere man who has something to say, who represents a brown Latino church unafraid, unafraid to confront injustice. Now this is an excellent opportunity to challenge this false narrative. You have the God-given opportunity to throw a brick through the plate glass window of these falsehoods. I've never met you in person, but you come across as someone who will not back down. Pastor Manny, people who know you are going to watch this video. They will see these very compelling reasons. They will consider this very excellent, strong response of Governor Susana Martinez. They will see this blatant racism of honoring Allred, and they will be watching you to see your reaction. And I trust that you will set an amazing example. You know, the people that do this so flagrantly right in front of our faces, they must really think that they can just punk and bully everyone, but you seem like a man that does not tolerate bullies. This right here, this is a smack in the face to Hispanics, and it's especially an insult to Hispanics within our own church, and you seem like a man who's not going to just sit down and take this. So may God bless your voice and efforts.